Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I have a Chanel unboxing to do today with you. I purchased some products from Chanel. I was actually walking because I had a really hard day and I decided to buy a few things from Chanel just to make myself feel a little bit better. I also have a couple of new purchases from Eucerin and this is a, this is a pharmacy brand. It's actually a German pharmacy brand. Oh wait, wait, is it the German? No, it's made in Poland actually. So it actually belongs to Bayersdorf, Germany, but the products seem to be made in Poland, I believe. And we're going to try those as well today. Um, these are two products that I've always wanted to try. You know that I love um, to try pharmacy brands because they are quite affordable. And at the same time, I find that always pharmacy brands, I usually go for French pharmacy brands, but this time I don't know why I decided to go for this uh, brand because I haven't used it in a while. So this is just a face mist, which contains hyaluronic acid and I have also the matching face mask which contains hyaluronic acid and I thought that I'm just going to do a relaxing get ready with me video together with you. I have some products from the new Chanel Fall 2023 makeup collection by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and um, use the mist on my on my face. It just feels like a face mist and it's the first time that I'm using it. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let it sit for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to wipe it dry because for this face mask, now I was thinking that I'm actually going to use this one on a damp face because this contains hyaluronic acid, but it actually here, it says that it has to be used on dry face. So... I'm going to show you the ingredients. It's basically glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and I thought that it's going to be nice for um, tired skin. So let me go ahead and show you, zoom in the ingredients. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my hair back so that I can use the mask. And I decided to keep the mask in the fridge for a little while. Like I put it in the fridge for while I was just preparing here to film the video. So it's been in the fridge for like 10 minutes or so. And I want it to be nice and fresh on my face. So let's go ahead and see. It says to remove the blue sides. It smells actually, it has fragrance. So for those of you who are sensitive to fragrances, this might not be great. I'm using this one for the first time. I just thought that I wanted to try something interesting. I just wanted to treat myself to something because huh, I've had a hard day. Okay, so in the directions, it says to remove the two blue films, but I, I actually see only blue films. Let's see. These are supposed to be protective films, the blue one, and then in the middle has to be the mask. Oh, it's actually very, very thin. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. This is how it looks. It's actually super, super thin. I might need little scissors to actually resize it on my eyes because this is what I do. Hmm, it feels very nice. I'm not gonna lie, immediately it feels cold, but this is because uh, it's been in the fridge. Oh, I have to resize it. Okay, so I took small scissors and I'm just gonna cut here to make it more comfortable for, for myself. This is what I usually do with face masks because they never actually fit perfectly and also I have very sensitive eyes so that's why I'm always trying to resize them a little bit. Okay and now it says that I have to wait for five minutes. Now I have to say that I'm a little bit surprised because this is a mask that contains hyaluronic acid and usually with hyaluronic acid you want to apply hyaluronic acid ideally on damp skin. Like it shouldn't be you know soaking wet but it should be a little bit damp. And I was very surprised that here in the instructions it says, apply to dry skin. Just moving around. It doesn't have a lot of serum. 
this is what I can tell. Let's see actually how much serum it has inside, if I can get something out. No, it actually doesn't have much serum. It just has a, a few drops probably, which I'm gonna try and use after I remove the mask, but it's not very generous. Now let's move on to the Chanel unboxing while I'm waiting for my skin to become beautiful and flawless and glowing. So I wanted to unbox this together with you. This is just something small that I decided to purchase. All some additional purchases from Chanel's uh, full makeup collection. It's nicely wrapped. Now while we are waiting, I'm going to switch the camera and I want to show you the product that I decided to purchase because two of the products are actually old, uh, old products. One of them is the Le Volume de Chanel mascara. I told you a while ago that I purchased this mascara. I repurchased it. It's one of my most repurchased mascaras, but I'm purchasing another one because I usually keep one of uh, this Le Volume de Chanel mascara. I usually keep it in the car. And it turns out that every time when I sit down and want to film a video, I don't have the Le Volume de Chanel mascara because it's in the car. And that's why I thought, okay, I need another one because this is like my most used mascara. And when I want to show it to you, it turns out that I don't have it. Just while we are waiting for the mask, I'm going to show you close-ups of the products and I want to show you. Now, the other old product that I decided to purchase is one of the Chanel Rouge Coco Gloss and this one is in 172. It's one of my favorite pink colors. I think that it's very suitable for this time of the year because um, I love the Chanel glosses. I'm going to show you also what is the packaging. It has a doe foot I don't know, should we call it a doe foot applicator? Let me know in the comments. But it has this very nice super comfortable um, plush applicator that feels so nice on the lips. And this is one of my favorite colors. Now, in the meantime, I also swatched a few of my other favorite colors that I wanted to show you. And I'm going to definitely make sure to, to show you uh, and to insert videos with swatches. And then the two new products that I purchased from the new fall makeup collection is the Coral Blush, which is so beautiful. This is the packaging. I'm going to show you everything. And then I also decided to buy one of the new mono eyeshadows. And these are loose mono eyeshadows. Now, why I decided to purchase only one color. I have very, very sensitive eyes, as a lot of you probably know and remember. And these eyeshadows are not the best ones for people who have sensitive eyes because this is loose powder and you have to be very careful when you're applying it. It just uh, takes a little bit of time when you're applying the loose powder and the color that I picked I have been to a lot of my Chanel counters just to go ahead and swatch and see the powders um, and I have been to a few stores just because I wanted to see how powdery they are of course they are going to have fallout when you pull it out because this is loose powder but the only one that doesn't have almost doesn't have fallout is the one that I purchased and this is 402 Sycamore and this is the why I have chosen this one in particular because when you take it out this one has the least fallout or somehow it feels like it has the least fallout I may be imagining as well but this is what I found when I was, you know, strolling around Chanel counters. Okay guys, now it's more than five minutes, actually it's probably 10 minutes or so, and I want to go ahead and remove this. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get what serum we have here, but when I remove the mask, it's literally like my face is dry. As I mentioned, this is not a very generous mask in terms of, you know how some face masks, when you open them and you have so much serum that you can do your whole neck and decollete and even the arms if you want to, or you can just um, go ahead and keep some of the serum for next use in the fridge. This one is not that kind of mask. It is actually it's just not generous. Now I'm gonna go ahead and seal in the moisture with my Olomere this is the emulsion which is supposed to be used after serums or it's great to be used after the face mask it's just a very light milk i showed this in my favorites video so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face 
I like to apply it also under my eyes just because I find that it works nice all over my face and I'm not afraid to apply Lumiere serums and creams also under my eyes because they work great for the under eye area. Now for my base I want to go ahead and use my favorite Chanel Water Fresh Tint and I have two shades because as I often mention I'm in between the two shades. I'm in between light and medium light. I apologize for the noises that we have but somewhere on the street there are works and there is nothing I can do about it. I know that this is so frustrating. I'm so happy that finally I'm going to show you the Le Volume de Chanel mascara because I have been mentioning this mascara a few times and I realized that I, when I sit down and film a video, I, when I sit down and film a makeup application video, I never have it in hand. So that's why now I have to, but still I'm going to use it. It's my favorite. Okay guys, I'm just going to tap my face because this combination was not ideal for some reason. Um, I suppose the Water Fresh Tint, the Water Fresh Tint works beautifully with the Lumiere products, but I used the face mask beforehand and then it just doesn't, doesn't blend so seamlessly. Okay, we are just trying today. There is a little bit of peel here on the top of my lip. And then there was a little bit of peel right here. But I'm gonna fix that. It looks a little bit better now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sublimash concealer. This is a concealer that I start liking more. This is the only Chanel concealer that I have and I'm very generous right now because somehow the water fresh tint did not work in a perfect way, in the best way on top of the face mask, but you have to try, right? This is just a try on video. Actually, I have to say that I made a, a little mistake here. Usually when I use a face mask, I'm going to wait for like a couple of minutes before applying a moisturizer on top of the face mask. And then I'm going to wait for two, three minutes more before I apply the foundation. So that was completely my mistake, but it's okay with fingers. I can just push in the product. Just going to apply a little bit of the concealer on my eyelids just to make sure that they are even, but I'm using a very small amount of product. And then I am going to go ahead and fill in my brows. And for my brows, I'm using my favorite Florisys brow pencil. And I want to go ahead and set my face with powder. I'm using my Western Atelier. As you can see, I'm soon going to have to repurchase this powder. I have been using it a lot. And currently, I think that this is maybe becoming my favorite face powder because I can use it anytime, even when I feel like my skin is so irritated. Now, in one of my previous videos, some of you asked me why I'm not setting under my eyes because they are quite dry. And when I use the Sublimash concealer from Chanel, for me, it doesn't need to be, I don't need any powder under my eyes. So that's why I'm not setting my under eyes. So if you need, and most of the time with most concealers, I'm going to need to set my um, under eye area, but not with the Sublimash concealer. And I'm going to move on to my favorite Le Beige powder from Chanel. I'm using the shade number 20 because it helps me to bring a little bit of color to my face and I'm going to apply it only um, very lightly. I'm going to apply it on the outer parts of my face. I can use it also all over my face. So there is no problem about that. This powder is beautiful. So one of my favorite face powders. And next we're moving on to the star of this year's fall makeup collection. I think that these are the beautiful blushes. This is the Blush Harmony in Beige Coral. As to be expected from Chanel, it comes with the velvet case, which is great for traveling. It comes also with this little brush. Here is the powder. And I think that the powder is a real work of art. 
I absolutely love the design of the powder. I love also the color of the powder. It's so beautiful. And now let's go ahead and apply this. I'm gonna use this brush actually that comes here. I never use this brush, but this time I'm gonna use it. Now the key here is if you have fair skin tone like mine, you just have to be light-handed with these powders. Both of the powders are gorgeous. Um, I'm going to insert right now swatches of the two powders. Swatches are made in natural light so that you can see how they look. And my favorite one is the Beige Coral. I usually use a different brush, but this time I thought, well, let me show you how I can use this brush as well that comes inside. I love these brushes from Chanel. So this is how it looks and this is normally how much I'm going to apply of this powder because it looks so beautiful. It just gives a healthy touch to my face. This is really all that I need from this powder, but isn't it absolutely stunning? What I love about the powder is that you can actually enjoy the design for a little bit longer because it, the design is not ruined right after the first application. Now my lips feel a little bit dry and that's why I'm going to use this gloss. I adore Chanel's glosses. I think that they are very underrated. Now this is with the gloss and I think that Chanel's lip glosses are very underrated. The um, applicator is so soft, so lovely. Now I just wanted to mention that this blush looks beautiful on the eyes as well. So it can be used on the eyes and on the face as well. So Pigment eyeshadows. Now this is definitely not um, one of my favorite releases from Chanel. That's why I only decided to buy one. Of course, this is a loose pigment, so you have to expect to have some fallout it's here. You can see that one immediately. And I like to first tap it a little bit here. And then the way I like to use it, you can just tap here the applicator real nice and you can go in directly, but you have to expect fallout. So that's why I decided to use the pigment on the back of my hand. It falls immediately because this is loose pigment and I like to take it with my finger. I like to just go ahead and swirl my finger. My arm is quite dark because I was spending a lot of time outside. And I like to gently press this onto my eyelid. This color in particular, the one that I'm showing you here, is my favorite from the whole collection. Now, if you have sensitive eyes like me, you have to be a little bit more careful with these because you don't want any of the pigment to just enter your, to come into contact with your eyes. Okay, I'm gonna use my finger now to tap the pigment and I'm not going to have, that. that's how I avoid fallout. Tapping the pigment lightly onto my eyelids just to press it and to put it in place. And then back and forth motions just to blend the color because this is going to be a perfect one and done eye color for the fall season. Okay, you can see that actually the application is not that hard or alternatively, if you want, you can just take it on the back of your hand, take your brush, dip into the pigment like so and then go onto the eyelid. So there are a few options to use here just to avoid the fallout. And if you want to create a look with a two or three of these eyeshadows, I would suggest you to just take the pigment on the back of your hand. It's going to be like, the back of your hand is going to be like a little palette and just put the pigment here and take it with a brush, but make sure to just swirl the brush, you know, so that you don't have loose pigment so that you can press the pigment into the brush and then go on to the eyelid. But Overall, I have to say that the quality of the eyeshadows is good. 
It's just a different way of application, but let's say that it's even a more fun way of applying this and I don't have any fallout right now. So it's all about how you're going to apply the eyeshadows. Now, I personally prefer to keep it like that. I personally prefer to keep it a little bit more natural, but I know that I'm going to use this color in particular so often, and that's why I decided to purchase this um, color. And now I'm going to comb my eyelashes and I'm going to move on to applying my favorite Chanel mascara, Le Volume de Chanel. Now I just wanted to go ahead and first show you the brush of the mascara. I absolutely love Le Volume de Chanel. This is one of my most repurchased. No, this is actually my most repurchased luxury mascara of all times. So I have been using this mascara for, huh, let's see, uh, probably 10 years. That's how much I love this mascara. And now um, this is the very first application of the mascara, so it might not be perfect because you know, when you first open the mascara and when you're on camera, it's always a little bit, uh, doesn't happen in the best way, but still you're gonna see that it separates the lashes so beautifully. Some gorgeous mascara. And there is also a new eyelash primer, which um, in generally I like and I want to see how they changed it. So I'm gonna show you in one of my next videos because they purchased this one, but I purchased it online. This here purchase today was just, I was walking and I thought to treat myself because I had a really exhausting day and I needed a little treat for myself and I needed to share this with you as well because I love to share my days with you. And when I sit when I want to relax, do my makeup, but the best way to relax is just to catch up with you guys. So let me know what are your favorite pieces from Chanel's full makeup collection. What are products that you love? I wanted to update you about the eyeshadow quads because some people have been asking me. I absolutely love them, both of my eyeshadow quads, but I didn't purchase more because there are going to be exciting releases for the holiday makeup collection of Chanel. Not going to be showing photos, because I don't want to ruin the surprise for Chanel and still photos are not public, but they are going to have some really interesting holiday makeup collection and I can't wait for that. So I love this mascara because you can apply a few coats of this mascara if you want to, if you want to have more dramatic lashes or you can just keep it simple and you can apply one single layer and uh, achieve more elegant lashes. And last but not least, I wanted to show you some swatches of some of the new colors of the Rouge Coco Bloom for Chanel's Fall 2023 makeup collection. I think that the colors are beautiful. The reason why I didn't pick any of these colors is because I especially love the red one, this bright red color, but I have so many of the Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks and I recently purchased a few new Chanel lipsticks that I want to use. And that's why I decided to, I have to resist, I have to resist, I cannot buy more lipsticks. And, um, but I wanted to show you some swatches. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I have to say that my favorite pieces from Chanel's faux makeup collection are definitely this blush. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if you have fair skin tone like mine, do not be afraid to try and experiment with this blush. I think that this is so beautiful. Now I have to say that the purple one, the deeper blush, it just doesn't look as flattering on my skin. I've tried it, um, in on my Chanel counter, I actually tried it a couple of times on different Chanel counters that it just, I cannot accept myself. It is okay, it is good. Um, I just have to apply a small amount, but I do not love it as much as I love this one. Plus I'm waiting for the highlighters. I'm not sure if they're going to launch here in Europe or not. They're still not launching, but I, you know, uh, the oversized, highlighters with the symbols. I'm so looking forward to those. I think that in Europe, these might be part of the holiday makeup collection. You know that Chanel keep releasing different products in different parts of the world, which might be a little bit frustrating, but I have to say that I'm really obsessed with this blush. The blush is absolutely stunning, um, gorgeous. And then also I love the two eyeshadow quads that I have from the fall makeup collection, the new Les Quatre Ombres Bisons. Now these are limited edition items, so if you like them, I would say go for them. Now for the loose powder eyeshadows, 
If you like them, if you like any of the colors, then go for it. I personally would choose only one as a Chanel lover. The one that I picked is the one that matches my skin tone best and I know that it's a color that I'm going to use as one and done eye color. So that's why I decided to buy this one. And of course, I was so happy to repurchase one of my favorite glosses from Chanel because this is the time when I really like to use these glosses. Now, one thing that I love is that um, they definitely make my lips look a little bit bigger. They can be applied on their own or they can be applied on top of a lipstick, which is great. This is fantastic. They always give a little bit of volume to my lips and they are not irritating because I really wanted to like... I really wanted to like these um, Dior Addict glosses, the lip maximizers, the new lip maximizers, but this contain mint and they kind of feel a little bit irritating on my sensitive lips. Whereas this one, it's always a winner for me. I love so many colors of these. And from time to time, I'm going to repurchase some of my favorite colors. I really like the orangey color that you're seeing on this watch right now. I have never had this color, I admit. But this is definitely on my wish list. This is the next one that I want to have. So once again, thank you so much for spending time with me and for watching. Let me know what is your favorite product from this fall makeup collection from Chanel. Are you excited for what's coming for the holiday makeup collection? Some of you might have seen photos already on some social media. And until next time, bye.